Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And uh, when I'm talking Rock of Seattle, once a year... We make the Rock of Seattle celebrate Seattle Rock Day, baby. Big day, BJ. Big day tomorrow, my favorite day of the year. Minus my anniversary, of course. Yeah, no, or the birth of your dog. Yeah, you know what this probably. I mean, well, that it, it, happened it, it, a few years ago. It, it doesn't happen every year. Oh. I mean, birthdays. I, okay, it's my third favorite wow. day of the year. Is that good? I, uh, you know what? Uh, my other dog, are, you, are you in concussion protocol? Is that what happened? Yes. Couple, you know, wrestling was, yeah. Yes, wrestling was tough. Took a chair to the head, DJ. All right, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are celebrating Seattle's rich rock legacy, no doubt about it. And we've got a great rock legacy in this fine town. And Seattle Rock Day celebrates uh, that. The music, like Mother Love Bone, obviously. The Pearl Jams, the Nirvanas. But then, like, the Screaming Trees and, and Mud Honey. It's going to be a great. Aaron Jones, of course, one of the newer yeah. Seattle rock greats. Uh, it's going to be a blast tomorrow. And, of course, for the third straight year, we are spotlighting and supporting the amazing word of, of work of SMASH, which is Seattle Musicians' Access to Sustainable Health Care. And uh, as we celebrate the day of all the great art given to us from all the musicians, this is a great time to highlight the fact that they don't get the medical care that they need, yet they give us so much, and that's what SMASH is all about. And we're going to be, you know, asking for your donations and, you know, really, you know, getting the help these guys need. Our hope, raising $10,000 for all the musicians so they can get that health care like you were talking about, and as a way to incentive, 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 incentive. I appreciate you bailing me out on that one. Incentivize. Yeah. We have a yeah. bunch of great stuff that's going to be up for auction that you can check out at KSW.com. Uh, memorabilia that's signed by artists like Bull Beat. Hailstorm, Mastodon, Royal Blood, uh, oh, also hey. stuff from Chester Bennington, Jerry Cantrell, and a bunch of artists as well. Other artists. So, you know, you'll get cool stuff. You'll be helping out all the great musicians that could use some health care. Uh, that's what Seattle Rock Day is all about. And, of course, celebrating the great tradition of the music that was made here, baby. And and still, but you made the great music scene. And if you want more info about Seattle Rock Day presented by Palace Law, here's what you got to do. Go to KISW.com. Let's play Beat Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. To scream his name. Beat Mix. Don't be a loser. Whoa. Beat Mix. You're a loser. It is time. Time for Beat Mix. But it's Wednesday, so let's whack Migs instead. Whack it. Whack them, baby. Yeah. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. <laughs> Woo! Whack and yeah, we don't whack Migs with chairs. We whack him with knowledge. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And let's, All right. Get, and let's get to our contestant today. We got Jeff in Puyallup. Jeff, are you there? Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Jeff. All right, Steve, get out of here. Hey, bye. Yeah. For those playing at home, Jeff will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Jeff, you can pass all you want, but you'll only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yep, and quick shout out to my wife who's listening at home. Hi, Shannon. Let's oh, do this. Oh, nice hey, shout Shannon. out. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson, and Gal Gadot starred in what 2021 Netflix movie? Uh, Red Notice. Yes. How many states does the Hoover Dam power? Oh, five, six, seven. No, no, no. In what oh. year did Alex Trebek pass away? 2019. No. 2020. Yes. How many years old do you have to be to serve in the U.S. Senate? Uh, 25. No. 22. No. 30. Yes. Susan Olsen played which child on the Brady Bunch? Cindy. Yes. Arabica and Robusta are the two most popular types of what? Coffee. Yes. Zach Braff played JD in what medical sitcom? Uh, Scrubs. Yes. How many states begin with the letter A? Uh, 
Five. No. Six. No. Uh, four. Yes. What role does Billy D. Williams play in the Star Wars universe? Randall Calrissian. Yes. How many gold medals did Michael Phelps win at the 2016 Summer Olympics? Let's say eight. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct, though. Oh, not all too right, bad. Right. Not too bad at all. Pretty good yeah, score there. Yeah. Couple have of ge- couple of guesses, but uh, you know, Steve will have to do the same. Have you seen I'll the? Be uh, of, I'll be king of South Hill today. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow! Oh, look at that. Big okay. call on that one. All righty. Well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, Steve might have something to say about this. He absolutely will have something to say. He might say I won, or he might say I lost. Oh, you think that's all he's going to say? I feel like. Yeah, well, I maybe he like said I won. won. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean. He will be more dramatic. The man's a performer. That is true. <laughs> He's an entertainer. Hey, Steve, are you uh, ready to perform? All right. <laughs> wow. I guess so. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson, and Gal Gadot Ooh. starred in what 2021 Netflix movie? Oh, man. Not Wonder Woman, although that was a great Wonder movie, right, PJ? Uh, the first one was, yes. I thought that first one was good. Uh, Red Notice. Yes. Nice. How many states does the Hoover Dam power? Four. No. Five. No. Six. No. Damn it. In oh. what year did Alex Trebek pass away? Oh, man. 2020. Yes. How many years old do you have to be to serve in the U.S. Senate? 35. No. 18. No. 16. No. Susan Olsen played which child on the Brady Bunch? <laughs> Cindy. Yes. Arabica and Robusta are the two most popular types of what? Breasts? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Robusta? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> Zach Braff played JD in what medical sitcom? Scrubs. Yes. How many states begin with the letter A? Three. No. Two. No. Four. Yes. Nice. What role does Billy D. Williams play in the Star Wars universe? Lando. Yes. Calrissian. How many gold nice. medals does Michael did Michael Phelps win at the 2016 Summer Olympics? Nine. No. Ten. No. Eleven. No. Sixty-nine. No. One, That's two, it. three, four, five, six. Steve, you get whacked. Eight Woo! to six. Yep. Whack it. Yeah. Nice work, King yeah, of Two Alabama. Yep. Yep. Jeff it. is the King of uh, South Hill today. <laughs> ah, nice see you on Meridian. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? You go, you go to, you go to South Hill Mall and have yourself a great day, buddy. Okay, mm-hmm. get yourself something nice. <laughs> you got this for your win. There you go. All right, then. You know what? And uh, I think because of that, we all get this. There you go. Couple of uh, the ones that Jeff got that you did not. He knew that you have to be thirty years old to serve in the U.S. Senate. Thirty. Thirty. I don't think I would have got that. No. Yeah. Uh, and then Arabica and Robusta are coffee beans. Coffee. Oh. So yeah, they're they're very popular if you like coffee. <laughs> um, two of the ones. That- <laughs> I like coffee. They're very popular if you like coffee. You don't like know if you kids in the area know about this, but coffee has beans. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> coffee comes from beans. Uh, how many states does the Hoover Dam power? I'd be guessing at this point I'd go two, three, four and hope I win. And you would have. It's three. Nevada, three. Arizona, and California. Come on, Steve. I started at four. So I started at three. Should have. Yeah. And then how many gold medals did Michael Phelps win at the 2016 Summer Olympics? Eight stands out. Right? Is that right? No, it's not. I think oh, Steve said right. that. Five? Five. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Danny nice knew work, it. Danny, wow. that you remembered. Five, well, that's it? I didn't remember. I went to Five, the- that's it. Five, Five gold medals man. is a lot. <laughs> but I, I, I thought I, he did uh, more than that. He did well, at his one career. Point. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you just said, wait, did you say how many he's won all together or just at one Olympics? In just the 2016 Summer oh, Olympics. Oh, that's there, why I went high. I heard the question wrong. Okay. Was there one of the Olympics where one year he did get like eight? I think, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe well, that, total? I don't know. If five is not the most he's won at one Olympics, then I'd really hate this question. because if he, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not a great question if he actually had another Olympics where he won more than that. It's a what swerve of a question, I'll tell you. It's a nice round number. Like, if you go like 5, 10, 15 or something like that, it seems to be a pretty simple answer. What I mean, what I, my point being is is that it's like if that's not his best Olympics, that question is all I'm saying. I feel like five is a lot and probably is his best Olympics. I, I, look, I didn't mean to poo-poo him winning five. <laughs> gold medals obviously yeah. and, it's more than five more than i've won and he also yeah. won a silver medal uh, during that one as well it oh looks like well. he won eight in beijing oh that, he did yeah. really so he did win eight one time i remember being i think we were in boston wait, wait. at the time and eight i remember at a bar it just says uh most gold medals won in a single olympics eight in beijing oh That's so the red record Asa- he owns 
So Rev asked oh, the question that was about the, his yeah, that was Olympics. the 2008. Okay, uh, it was the year we were in Boston, BJ. I remember that because yeah. we were at a bar in Boston and we we're all losing our minds because we're watching Michael Phelps like win his eighth gold medal. Well, that's why I said eight because I just assumed. Well, why wouldn't the question be? Once, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't the question be about his best? But but Rev Swerve doesn't. He said, swerved me good. Yeah. <laughs> what in his second best Olympic showing? How many gold medals? Only five. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. why I was yeah. poo pooing only five. I can see why that was really. <laughs> You know what, Michael? You only got five gold medals. You have shamed this country. Leave it. He's gone downhill. He has 28 medals, and 23 of them are gold. What a loser. Wow. Wow. Where do you think really? he keeps all those medals? Do you think he has them on display, or does he give them as gifts like for Christmas? when he Does he give gold medals as gifts for Christmas? That is a That is a hell of a... You know, how about you open the white elephant, and that's what you have. Michael Phelps is sitting there smiling as you open up his gold medal. If I have 23 gold medals, I'm definitely giving a gold medal each to my parents. Okay. To my brother. Oh, nice. And I still feel like I could throw a couple more away. Not a big deal. I have a question for you, though. Yeah. <laughs> I know why you're giving them to your parents. Makes sense. Yeah. Brother, though, sibling rivalry, is it a gift or is it a... Ha! Oh, yeah. That's, kid? Yeah, that's yeah. low-key, you know passive-aggressive. Look at what I got. <laughs> that's Does cool. You and all your military awards and medals on your nice little Marine. Oh, you know, no, that means nothing because I am a U.S. medalist. I'm right. Yeah, but, Look at yeah. my medal. It's bigger than your... <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, your, your collection of Excuse things me. that you've done for this country <laughs> that, while I did was hop in right. a pool. The people's lives you saved and gotten those awards, not yeah, a big hey, deal. Nothing. I swam really fast. Here's That's my method. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in him. Apparently, they're in a secret spot that not many people in the world know exactly where they are, and he doesn't look at them often. I would put them everywhere, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, uh, by the front door. I want everyone to see them. One hanging from the, the keychain rack. Yes. Mm. What I would know, be a door knocker for his house? Oh, yeah. dude, yes. It is funny how, you know, depending on the person, what they do with their awards. Uh, was it, is it Stone Gossard, Steve? Who do we talk to? Is it yes. doorstop or something? Like, I mean, he's just got it downstairs holding a door open, his granny I or something. I think at one point maybe it was used as that and then it was just kept in a closet. Yeah. I mean, you know, some people are, you know, are like Michael Phelps. Other people are like Vicky. Um, I know I would, you know, I went over somebody's house and, uh, you know, I didn't know who they really were. And next thing you know, I see all these Grammys on their fireplace mantle. You know, it seems like a place to put awards, you know, uh, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, the. the uh, you were at woman, Olivia Rodrigo's house, I know. I was at Olivia. Oh, yeah, well, you know, so listen, I mean, I just got my driver's license. It made sense that, you know, we should all go hang together. <laughs> Dude, I, I can understand, like, putting, like, five of them away somewhere safe so that way you never lose them. And they're. But I, I, some of the other ones I think I would be having some fun with. I'd have them yeah. in the house at least. Oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I feel like. Ah oh, man, yeah, I would. Uh, you got to display them because you figure people expect that, you know, don't they? Would you have at least one that you would like rock at like special events if I was going somewhere? Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, going to a Kraken game. Your fun. first one, wouldn't it be the first one you won? I think your first gold oh. medal's got to be the like you know. Oh, that's the, first... the one I think I would keep safe. Yeah. yeah, that one should be like framed or I don't know what you do with medals, but you do something like that. Yeah, okay, you know, yeah, because none of us have ever won medals. That no, pretty much. No, here we go. We just have like we, a mannequin in like a speedo in your house. Oh, there we go. And just put like a whole room of them with the medals on. Aww. Oh, yeah, like a, just have the wall of mannequins for each medal you've won. Hmm. Yes. Damn, dude. <laughs> not creepy at all. Mannequins. No, not at all. It's hey, like, come see my wall of mannequins. Of yeah, there you go. That's like the room where if you're like dating someone, you invite them over and they start opening that door. You're like, no, 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 no. no you no. need to talk before you open that door. Don't That's the second it. date room. Don't worry yeah. about it. You can't go in there yet. Uh, <laughs> you're not good enough to see the mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> We got a guy that tried riding in a hot air balloon for the first time, and it crashed. This is why I won't do it. Yeah, he did survive, though, and just posted the video of the experience. Oh, I don't even want to see this. Yeah, we have the audio. You can check out the video on the BJ and Migs page. We'll tell you all about this at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Make sure you check out the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com because you're going to see this uh, this video, man, of this oh, of this guy's first hot air balloon ride and how it did not end well as, uh, yeah, the balloon crashed. And I, 
People talk about it. I know that there's a lot of great events, and New Mexico has a big balloon thing, and Danny's always like, oh, it's really great. It's the festival of the balloons, right? Yeah. The balloon fiesta. That's yeah. it. Uh, and I have, some friends, I have some friends in this area that love hot air ballooning, and they go to New Mexico every year for it. Uh, but you watch this video on the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com, and it is everything that I am afraid of to go up in a hot air balloon. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, I already don't like heights anyway, but to be up there like that... And uh, this video shows basically uh, lots of chaos as the balloon bounces along the ground before finally coming to a stop. So it crashed, happened in San Diego, nobody got hurt, but here's how it went down. My first hot air balloon experience was going great until the winds picked up. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody hang on. Wow. Okay, it's like, hang on, meaning hang on to your cell phone as you continue to film this. It's yeah, very impressive. <laughs> it's like you're in a balloon. What are you going to hang on to? The basket that's careening towards the ground? Yes, kind of. Yeah. Or, or maybe tell you, you hang on to the driver. Is he a driver? <laughs> what is he? A pilot? Pilot. Uh, pilot. pilot. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, the pilot is here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought the same thing. Is like, hang on, dude. We're 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 bouncing. I mean, there's nothing to hang on to that's not getting wrecked right now. They have okay. straps in the in the little basket for you. Oh, to they hang do. On oh, to. hang on to the straps. Oh, yeah. 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 sure. That that's gonna save yeah. me. Well, I'm glad you didn't yeah. get a strap on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Steve, though, man. I mean, that's uh, like the some of the, the filming skills. This is what we've got. People are like I may die, but I'm gonna. I, you know what? It's gonna be recorded. It'll be in the cloud. It'll get up. You know, so people will see what's going. And good on. for him, man. He got. Four 4.6 million views on TikTok for this thing. And I love that on his caption. It says, TikTok, we're okay. Please don't delete. Because, you know, some of these social media pages will delete things if it's gnarly or oh, somebody right, gets hurt. Yes. That, that way they don't encourage that kind of behavior. Even if you're driving and doing a TikTok, they'll delete those or put a little thing that says, this is an activity that can cause harm. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that Timmy TikTok just watching all these videos? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Timmy TikTok. Wow. Oh, Timmy TikTok in charge that? of... Timmy TikTok. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know Timmy TikTok. Oh, good, good. Timmy's got a job. All right. So, what is the passenger's driving? Like, see, he has a video of himself, like, as a passenger, but they think, they say participants in this activity could result in you getting hurt. So, I think it's just a bot that kind of senses that you are in a car and movement. So, yeah, TikTok's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, it's not going to make me want to go up on a balloon, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, imagine it's your first time going in a hot air balloon and that's what happens to you. Oh, dude, that's, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. So, yeah, that, oh, man, that, that there's no way I'm going in a hot air balloon now. No. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. Yeah. No way, because uh, like Steve said, that was his first time in a hot air balloon. Did not go as planned. He lived, but there's no way you get me back up after that balloon no. crash. I mean, to be fair, like, all balloon uh, landings are pretty rough. Like, that one was extreme, but ours was pretty much the same. And you have people, like, running towards you and grabbing onto the basket so you, like, hold it down. You Chaos. Chaos. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me want to get in even more, Danny. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) Well, to be fair, all balloons crash, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even at its best, it's a rough landing, BJ. Yeah, yeah that's uh, no thank you. Uh, based on this, we want you to finish this sentence. Good or bad, we want to know. Uh, uh, finish this up. Good or bad, I'll never forget the first time that I did blank. 206 421 Rock, Texas at 77999. Finish this sentence, good or bad, I will never forget the first time that I did blank. Your calls, your texts, after Nirvana, on The Rock. BJ and Mix, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. Hey, step it up, baby. I came through in the clutch. I saw a teammate needed help. I should get a couple of points from the company, right? Don't they give out awards when you're like, you help out a teammate or something like that? Yes, it's a sticker. With a oh, smiley sweet. face on it. I'll take my stickers. I'll take whatever. <laughs> you get one <laughs> sticker. Yeah, you know, believe me. And that way, if I ever get called in the office, I'll bring my thing of stickers. Look, this is my, it's all the good stuff I've done before you're about to suspend me again. Here's all the good stuff that I've done. So, uh, I don't know if you saw this, man. Uh, this, uh, you know, check out the video on the BJ and Migs page of KISW.com. A guy's first time riding a hot air balloon did not go as planned. The balloon crashed. Uh, Danny tries to tell us because he's like, listen, I don't want New Mexico to look bad, but home state. That's how they pretty much all look. 
it's safe to ride hot air balloons. Hey, I'm like, this didn't no. even happen in New Mexico, okay? I'm just yeah. saying that yeah, they whatever, get have a right. rough landing every single time. You know, Steve, Dion's pizza, the lies, the misinformation, <laughs> yeah. hot air balloon landings, the lies, the misinformation. Yeah, it's, it, what we're learning is that people in New Mexico just like things rough. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, that's it's what true. it is. All the blue meth. I, I get yeah. it. Rough uh, pizza. Rough, rough life. Yeah, rough. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> so we want you to finish this sentence, good or bad, because this was the first time this dude was on a hot air balloon ride, man, and it crashed. So we want you know we want you to tell us, good or bad. I'll never forget the time, the first time that I did blank. Two zero six four two one rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. This is a good. This is crazy text. Mike from Edmonds. First time, I went into a cage to feed the sharks. They forgot to latch the cage door, which resulted in me getting bitten in the arm by a shark. What? Whoa! Okay, I'm done. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I mean I, of course, it's like all, a playful bite, nothing like too serious. Oh, like a, a, a little love bite. Yeah, you know, like, nip. hey, what are, you, what are you doing later, Sammy? What do you right. say? You know, that's, okay. Uh, you know, jaws, you know, a little Jaws time. Ah, oh, man, I would, I mean, it would. Uh, I don't usually get mad at like employees and try and be like, hey, everyone has a bad day. But that would be one of those things. Dude, you had one job to yeah, make you, sure that this cage was locked. You're absolutely right. It's like you. Here's the person you don't want on that job: a stoner. You just go, okay, drug test this guy right now. He left the friggin' dr- the shark door open. Right. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, god, the, the jobs that people do. But the guy said oh. though it was the first time. I wonder if he ever did it again. That's always a good follow up. Like, would yeah, you do it again? Uh, yeah, you wonder how many people got bit on this guy's watch because mm. he left the door open, man. Uh, first, of all, I mean, who's doing? Who's got that job? You got to hope you get paid a good amount of money for that. I hope they have like a sign that just says we have had zero days without incident or something. Oh, you know, yeah. it's been yeah, two hundred days since we forgot to lock a cage door oh, for a shark feeding. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. So it says, I never forget my first lady trip. Two sheets of ass in a pink laser Pink Floyd show. Still my ideal night, honestly. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, that brings me back to ayahuasca. And uh, yeah, I, I will never forget my first time using ayahuasca. That's for sure. Oh, you pooped yourself, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> that was the third night. Oh, my bad. That, <laughs> yeah, that's another topic. I'll never forget yeah. the third time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that also was before I was using the ayahuasca. Basically, my entire trip in Peru was pooping myself. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, dude, it was it was it was the trippiest thing because I had never taken hallucinogenics or any psychotropics. I had never done anything like that. And I remember. You know, that the dude leading the trip is, you know, getting together with the shaman. And they both were like, wait, you've never done anything. I've never done anything. And they're like, really? Nothing. And they would just, they were just listing off all these things. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. How and about I'm Excedrin? Like, Have you ever done Excedrin? <laughs> nope. Yeah, that, that's a baby aspirin once in a while. And oh man, dude, it was. I mean, it was trippy. It was just like really, inc- it's like a tool, tool albums, like just flashing before my eyes, you know, with all the great artwork you get mm-hmm. to see. Oh, man. Uh, well, so I, I, I won't ever re- forget it. It's, it's, it's any kind of hallucinogenic that first time you're really just going into the unknown. People can tell you everything they want to tell you to prepare yeah. you for something that's about to happen. But it's, <laughs> like, it's not until you actually experience it that you can either A, agree and understand what they're talking about or B, look at them and be like, you have no idea what I'm going through right now. And it's not what you told me. Like, that's just like one of those things that's like until you experience it, it's there's no words to describe what it's going to be like. And like it's it's like I'm I I have vivid memories and I'm like did it actually happen like is that what my brain was telling me what was going on uh, just the stuff that I saw I saw people like in different times like I saw a person get up to walk across the room but I also at the same time saw them in the middle of the room and then I saw them sit down on the other side of the room all at the same time time is it a was, flat circle bra dude bro. I know I mean that's what I Deep. was seeing I was like what the F man I, when you uh, first said yeah, I saw people from different times I'm like what like Bill and Ted like you went and saw like you know oh, that man was wearing Victorian clothes I, I that would cool I saw Joan of Arc and Abraham Lincoln it was crazy <laughs> that would have been amazing I, I wish I could say I saw that I did not see that but uh, it was yeah no doubt about it it was something that I mean, it was over 15 years ago now, and I still remember still, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was one of the most profound experiences, and I haven't done it since. It's funny because there have been some local stuff, and in Canada, I think there are some places where you're allowed to do it now. And I just, you know, it's funny. It's like that was a special time. I don't know. I, I don't, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I feel like that was cool that happened. That I don't need it again, but. Wow, was it something? So you, I, I was going to be my follow up question. Yeah, I never bought. Like I was wondering, like, would you do it again at this point in your life? 
That's an interesting question. I, you know, I, I, it may be under the right circumstances, but how can you do anything cooler than ayahuasca in the Amazon? Like we were in the jungle. I just, you know, no other, there's just no other locale that's as cool as that with tr- like real ayahuascarians, as they call them, or Iowa, Iowa, ayahuascaros, and real tobacco. Like they were blowing tobacco made from tobacco leaves, not like cigarette tobacco. Right. I mean, I just don't think, I mean, uh, there's no way you can recreate that unless I, and unfortunately, what if you went back? Didn't. Yeah, just go back to the Amazon. Well, the dude that did it passed away, so even there's like, other guys, yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, like the new Ayahuascaros. Yeah, he was, you know what I mean? It's just like all that was such a special time in my life. Uh, but, you know, I, I never say never. Um, well, was, I mean, you can you know, do them in Washington. Is it legal? I don't know. Well, if I don't know, but legal. you can do them in Washington. <laughs> yeah, I've heard I stories. Want be, <laughs> I want to be careful to not endorse anything that's illegal. It was legal, you know, in Peru where I did it. I don't know about here in the states or Washington. Uh, I know you're right, Rev. I know you can go do them very close to here. I Swing. just don't know if you're supposed to be yeah, doing I, them I'm very close. Go behind the taco it. truck yeah. in Puyallup on Meridian <laughs> and just say, "May I see the Ayahuascarian?" And yeah. then they'll they'll let you know what's up. <laughs> Oh, what, what are you? Are you a vegetarian? You're vegan? No, I'm an ayahuasca. Oh, okay. Vegan. All right, get behind the taco bus, and I'll, yeah. we'll, we'll take care uh, of you. And it was, you know, it somebody was, get a pack of smokes. We got another idiot. It also led to a really cool moment with Eddie Vedder, as when I when I mentioned it on the air, just casually, Eddie, who had at the time had never done anything like that, but was really curious, was super impressed. He was like, "Dude." You know, you know his life. You know, you feel like, you know, somebody that's lived the life that Eddie has. He's done everything, been able to do everything. You know, he was saying when the Cubs won the World Series, his favorite baseball team. And we've heard stories of them tripping on stage, you know, back in their old days, obviously when they were in their 20s, and then performing in front of large crowds while on mushrooms, which is just, I don't even know how you can even play an instrument when you're on mushrooms. I, yeah, he he was. I think he liked the whole <laughs> ceremonial part of it, as opposed to just tripping for tripping. Right. He liked the the idea you go on a journey. It's a healing journey, which is what a lot of folks feel about ayahuasca. It's they call it medicine, uh, for, you know, for that reason. But uh, yeah, dude, just a, I'll never forget it. Someone just texted in. I'll never forget the first time I did mushrooms. My buddies thought it was uh, uh, two H was just a light amount. Never did mushrooms again. Lol. Yeah. Well. Oh, another person did a balloon ride for their anniversary a few years back. We literally ran out of wind, and we were stuck hovering over power lines until the balloonist ground crew could come and pull up the ropes oh, or pull down the ropes. Wow. We ended up in some ladies' field in Snohomish from Bruce in Marysville. Nice. Okay, that is, again, I don't want to be hovering near power lines. That doesn't seem like it could end well. And it's your anniversary? Yeah. Oh, like, what are you trying to do to me, babe? I swear. <laughs> it's it's right. a plan. Yeah, whose idea was this? That's the first. Uh, and then and then, who has the insurance policy? That's the uh, second question right there. Because I'll never forget the first time I got laid. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that really should be a memorable <laughs> moment. <laughs> it's memorable. It's like kind of like, a, I don't know. I, I For me, at least, it was just like one of those ones where it's just like, that was very awkward. And I... <laughs> Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Let's oh, forget yeah. this moment for all time. Yeah, yes. it was very. I mean, it, very awkward for me, though. I don't know. Maybe for some other people, it's not so awkward. Did, can anybody say their first time was amazing, or was it awkward for everybody? And it was my wedding night, of course. Oh, Congratulations! Of course, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, you know, anyone, I was just you, glad to have it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I remember yeah. it was college for me, and it was just like done. Finally, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of move on with my life now. <laughs> now you're a real man, right? And in your head, you're like, if it never happens again, at least I experienced it once. Good job, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was convinced it wasn't ever going to happen again. <laughs> I was like, this is a one and done thing. <laughs> oh wow! Congratulations. <laughs> oh man, damn, dude. So uh, I'm wondering about you, Victoria. What's the one thing the first time you did something you'll never forget? Well, it, it's the thing that has turned me off from anything, doing anything like that ever again, because I am just that clumsy and it would be snowboarding. Like I went, I was 17. I spent a hundred dollars on everything looks I didn't own anything right. just for my friend who supposedly was very patient to give up on me after 10 minutes. Yeah. I busted my shoulder and basically spent a hundred dollars to oh. sit in a cabin oh. and drink hot cocoa. That's the best oh. way to do it. At though. least you got hot I mean, cocoa. Yeah. yeah. You got a hot toddy at that point. Yep. Well, yeah, right. 17. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You earned it. You earned it. Yeah. And of course, he wanted to go snowboarding. So I'm by myself sitting in the cabin. So he just ditched you? Yeah. He's like, well, I'm going to go snowboard a bit. I'm like, I just want to go get hot cocoa. I'm over this. Like, I can't lift my arm up. I had to go to the doctor after the fact. Like, it was just, I will never do it again. 
Uh, not see, no I, skiing, uh, anything. Uh, inner tubing, though, down a hill, I will do that, <laughs> but nothing else. Yeah, and you got to be wrapped up in bubble wrap, right? I mean, that's the key. I was yeah. hoping, like, that bubble boy bubble. Can I get one of those, yeah. like, with the extra padding? Please. I'd be good. I can understand, Vicky, because that happened to me at a much younger age, and it wasn't a fight with the snowman, Steve, so forget about it. But, you know, <laughs> anyway, so you I, say. I fractured a collarbone just doing, like, you know, slidey stuff outside in my front yard as a little kid. And you think, look, you know, when you're a little kid, you just feel like you shouldn't break anything. Like, you know, you're low to the ground. <laughs> your body is, is probably as flexible as it'll ever be for the most part, unless you're some sort of Cirque du Soleil person. And yet, boom, seven years old. Busted up, fractured my collarbone, and I'm and, and that turned me off to any sort of wintry stuff at all. I yeah. was like, I am done with this season. Even the Winter Olympics, you refuse to watch it ever since. I, then. I <laughs> won't even watch the Winter Olympics because of it. Yeah. So and and no, Danny had nothing to do with the snowman what? or taking the snowman it to the park. Feels like this was part I of the feel snowman like that was, story. Yeah. Kind of yeah. seems like that. He pushed yeah. you down. Yeah, uh, I think that you that it collided with the snowman. Yeah, is that what you <laughs> <laughs> lost the fight. Yeah, good for you. Good for all of you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. <laughs> you guys, you all, you all three of you should take a balloon ride together. They really should. Hey, yeah, sources, yeah. I'm a crew chief for the hot air balloons, the wild goose, and the fire dancer. Flying in hot air balloons is amazing. If yeah. you have a bad ride, you flew either with an idiot pilot who should have known better. You can call me. I'll be happy to show you the ins and outs of when and when not to fly. Oh, I know when not to. Yeah. Ever? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you got to tell me when not to fly I'm kidding, there, man. Hot happening. Wow. I'm kidding. I, I legit would be down to do a, a balloon ride. Yeah, yeah, you'd be down, all right. Down on the ground is where you'd be. <laughs> Are you sure? Is that what you want? You're going to call Hot Dancer and crash somewhere? Hot Dancer. Whatever it's it's Fire Dancer. Oh, sorry. I like Hot Dance. Dancer. Fire's hot. I get where you're going there. I'm glad you were tracing that because I didn't know what he was talking about. He was, who's Hot Dancer? Hot Dancer is the guy that does Alexis. the ins and outs, isn't it? He says, I'll show you the ins and outs. I'm Hot it's Dancer. Alexis at the VU. You know her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's the Hot Dancer. <laughs> All right, fine. Hot one. You don't want to dance from Wild Goose. No, no you don't. No, no you don't. Yeah. Uh, we got an 18-year-old girl that just got busted for lying about driving drunk. And flirting with an officer to get out of being arrested. Oh, yeah, you're going to hear about what happened at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another listener question. How do I rebuild my credit after filing bankruptcy? Uh, you rebuild it, you know, one creditor at a time by making your payments on time to, on your on your rent or your mortgage, by continuing to make car payments at, on a car that you keep during your case. Um, you can also, as I said, uh, you can almost always get a credit card almost immediately after filing bankruptcy. Sometimes it's a secured card and it'll almost always have a really high interest rate on it, but you can get a small balance credit card and you know, charge a tank of gas or, or a dinner once a month on that and make the payment, pay it off every month, and that'll help you build a credit history one creditor at a time and will help you rebuild your credit over time. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.